Hi everyone, this is Johnny Onos and I'm playing Starbound version 1.0 and in this Let's Learn video I'm going to go over two challenges that uh, a viewer Nick Combs had given me. So the first challenge was he wanted me to build a seamless airlock where you enter and exit seamlessly with no waiting. Now I wasn't really sure exactly what he was looking for with that but the way I kind of translated that was that you don't have to wait to get in. So I got myself a, um, you know, some proximity sensors and, and really that's all it is. Two proximity sensors, a good amount of drains, and uh, you really don't need anything on the other side, but just in case the water does get in, if the water does get in all the way. Let's see. Let's see if it even gets there. <laughs> let's, let's remove a drain. There we go. See, now the door is kind of starting to close. But, like, if you wanted a room that was just filled with drains, you could easily stop water from getting to where you wanted to go. So, rain drains down, or the rain, the water drains down, and the door opens up. So, here I am, I'm inside doing my work, and I'm ready to go outside in the water, and here I go. I'm not even, not even stopping, just going through, seamlessly walking through my airlock, no problem. All right, coming back, and... Walk through, and... Okay. I, it looks like I need the drains. So, I'm not really exactly sure um, what he meant by seamless, but really, if you just put enough drains down, then you're pretty much golden. You don't even need to power them. So I can keep this door on forever, and this water won't get to the sensor, the, uh, the liquid sensor over here. I'd imagine if you keep this door open, lo open long enough, you might be able to actually drain the whole planet, but... That's, a, that's an interesting test for later. But anyways, that's the first airlock. The second airlock, now, it sounded like he wanted both of these in the same airlock, and it was impossible for me to do both in the same airlock. Like, I, I couldn't make this fast. I couldn't push water fast enough. I tried everything. Like, I tried uh, putting hatches down here in hopes that it would push the water up really fast. Like, I was going to do this thing where it would push the water up and then drop it down. Push the water up and then drop it down. But unfortunately, when you put, you know, I can even show you that. So let's make a hole here. So let's let's close this guy real quick. Oh, that doesn't work either, does it? Eh. But anyways, if you put a hatch here, it's gonna exist in the same kind of here, we can do that in, in this this side here. Open, open up, open. Let me make a hole here. Okay, now we're going to fill it with water. Alright, so my idea was that I would push this water up by filling in the ground with a hatch. But as you can see, the water and the blocks seem to basically exist in the same plane of existence. So I was really hoping that I could do like a series of hatches that would push the water up and then when I opened them all, it would, the water would just drop down again. I thought, thought that would have been really cool, but unfortunately, it's just not how the water works in this game. Now, if it did, that's how I would do it. But anyways, so this one, all this, all of it did, and let me um, let me go ahead and fix this here. So all I did was I punched holes into the background. I found out that I, I had it leaking through the side, and it took like a minute to fill. Uh, by punching these little holes, it it, consider, it would add a little, considerably a lot more air uh, water pressure into the room. And the room, while shorter, and uh, it used to be that really big one from the earlier video, but uh, it takes about seven to eight seconds to fill. So let me uh, let me show you that one more time. I got a ton of drains, so it so it releases the water extremely quickly. But this way, it fills like 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000. So it's about eight, seven to eight seconds long that it takes to fill up. And he wanted to fill up from the bottom, so basically I have just a little platform. I've got the two buttons, and everything is arranged basically in the same way that the previous airlock was built. 
But uh, yeah, hopefully this accommodates his challenge, and I'd like to hear more if it doesn't. Uh, so this is Johnny Onos playing Starbound version 1.0, and this was yet another airlock challenge. Keep throwing them at me, folks. Hopefully I'm hopefully I'm hitting it right on the dot for you. But unfortunately, I was really hoping to do this whole thing where I just shove the water up, shove the water down, shove the water up, shove the water down. I thought that would have been really cool. But anyways, folks, thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next episode.